In this movie we'll show you how we can import um, an extrusion part into PM3D and then take it through into uh, the CAD system. <clears throat> so this is uh, PM3D and this is the uh, model of the extruded parts that's uh, come through. Okay, uh, now one thing that you need to uh, bear in mind is where the zero position is. Uh, so sometimes um, when you import iGIS and step files, the zero position is about a, a mile away. Uh, so the only way to know that really is to keep zooming out and you can see where the zero is there. So if we go into the XY view first of all, so what we need to do before we export this <coughs> is we need to get that model close to zero. It doesn't have to be exactly on it, but it needs to be close to it. So to do that, we just use Move Translate. So we click and drag around the area, press Enter to accept it, and then just take that part and move it onto the uh, triad. So we need to do the same thing in the other axis because you'll find that uh, they can be all over the place. So we do the same thing here, and then just take a part and move it up there. Okay, so now that that's close to uh, X, Y, zero, if you don't do it that way, when you export it, the numbers become huge. So this component here, rather than being, I don't know, maybe four inches long, will have a value of um some meters and four meters uh, four uh, inches long so it'll just be huge so anyway get it close to zero right so the next thing we need to do is we need to get this orientated so that it's in the xy plane uh, because that's where we need it to be for exporting the uh, parts so we use rotate and then we can rotate it round based on whichever one of these uh, positions the current model is in. So we probably need to do it by about 90 degrees. And to check that, if you go into the XY view here, you can see where that is. Okay, so we're nearly done with that. One other thing uh, that you need to uh, look at is this top face here has got rads on the end of it there. So when this is exported, if I show you that, it would only export the flat faces. So it's going to miss out those rads. So what we need to do is we need to um, section this through the middle somewhere and then uh, create the, uh, uh, the flat 2D profile from that. So if we go into transform, we go into sectioning, highlight the model. Um, and then probably the easiest way is just to choose a point somewhere and to section it. Okay, so that uh, creates a cross-sectional view and then when we choose the uh, export function it's going to take the entire part through. So uh, we choose export selected faces, click on the face we want, press enter and then where we're we going to output it, well, it's going to go into the CAD system and the origin, this will set where X, Y, 0 actually is, regardless of where that triad is. So we want perhaps the minimum in X and Y and the maximum in Z. It doesn't matter in Z because we're only going into the 2D CAD. OK, so that's going to uh, create a drawing for us. So that's uh, taken that uh, face, uh, converted it into a contour and uh, then export it into the CAD system. Uh, so uh, because it's a contour, which we think of as being something to do with machining, uh, that's great if you want to machine it, but if you don't and you want to treat it as a CAD drawing, then you need to explode it. So to do that, you choose Curve, Explode, and that breaks down that contour into individual line segments. So what you can now do is you can now uh, cross-hatch that and get the area and the perimeter or use the statics calc uh, program. Uh, so if we go to help, static calculations, and then just say no to that. So that uh, creates the static calcs for that part, gives us the area, 
gives us the perimeter and gives us the uh, moment of area and so on. Uh, now a copy of that text file is stored here in the documents folder and it's called calcs.txt so if you want to uh, you can import that uh, file so if you go into text import and you can put that somewhere over here and then go and get that text file that's got the text in it it will always be called calcs.txt okay so uh, that's that uh, drawing um, and you can see the, uh, the routine that's gone into making that.